Hey everyone, welcome back to Cover to Cover with Jay and Jay. I'm Jalen, and we are here for part two of our interview with Courtney Brandt, um, author of Confessions of a Teenage Band Geek. Hi. Yes, in part, <laughs> yes, sorry, hello. <laughs> in, part one, in part one, we learned all about Courtney. Now it's time to hear all about this great book. So now we usually ask the 22nd origin story of our guests, but now we want the 22nd origin story of the main character, Julia. Go. Uh, Julia McCoy is a Southern California girl. She gets, uh, her parents move to Atlanta. She obviously moves with them. Uh, she's a drum set player and she decides to join the drum line. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> mm, wow. <laughs> love that, love that. <laughs> so was this story a little bit based on real life experiences? Did you kind of, was Julia kind of a shadow of how you went through kind of the marching arts or was it just you know what I want to make this extraordinary story about different things and what didn't happen in my life so I have my um my kind of origin story is in the line series which is a book of uh four books that are like a complete set of two characters and um, so for confessions I really stepped out and and made it something different I wanted to see what would happen if uh, somebody joined the marching band as an upperclassman? Because I was mm -hmm. living, breathing band since I was in sixth grade. But what would it look like for somebody <laughs> to come in who doesn't know about all the tra traditions, who doesn't know what DCI is, who doesn't know, like there's this whole world out there. And um, so I thought that that would be the most interesting. So that's, we're kind of going through uh, the marching experience as a new person, a newbie. Yeah. Great. That's so yeah, cool. Definitely. So, I know there's a moment in the book where Julia, I don't want to go any big spoilers, but Julia runs mm -hmm. into a judge. I know in my personal experience of marching that I've definitely witnessed a lot of people do that. And I've definitely probably have done it once, but I ain't gonna say. So uh, <laughs> has, that ever, has that ever happened to you when you've marched? It has, it has not. Um, I, um, once upon a time, was working in the entertainment industry. So I, people will often comment that I write quite cinematically and I could like legit see this happening. Like I'm <laughs> watching this in real time. Um, and so it's never happened to me, but again, there's a lot of, I won't give anything away, but there's a lot of tension leading up to that specific competition. Yeah. And Julia really needs to be under the radar and she does the exact opposite thing, which is to <laughs> run in front, like she is like on the 50 yard line, like bam. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just like, it's just such a funny moment to me. It's, it's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. I definitely related to that. It was, I, I laughed when I, when I read that. <laughs> and I, you know what, if people are out there watching, tag you guys, tag me. If you have a story about hitting a judge, I, I would love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so our question is, do you think we're going to hear more from Julia, the main character? Um, and maybe you, know, you you definitely will. Mm -hmm. um, the rough draft of the sequel is written. Um, I finished oh, cool. it like last week. Um, wow. There's a big important parade in New York in November. They might go to it. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but some, there's some. There's also some things that there's some storylines that will kind of carry over. Um, but I, I wanted to do something. I've always wanted to do either Rose Parade or Macy's and. Julie just it. seems like a good, good person to be at one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. My favorite. I love that phrase. Yes. Well, Confessions of a Teenage Band Geek sounds like something every band kid should get out there and should read. Perhaps a book about a guy in color guard could work <laughs> too, but you know. <laughs> but any thoughts on additional geeks being featured? <laughs> um, let's let's see. I'm uh like the marching one, I can I can see this going a, a few different directions um, and I still there's like a few ideas that I never picked up or kept going um, but let's right. see let's see um, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think there's so many stories out there and again like I said like it's they're just not being told enough there's so many important yeah. uh, moments that are happening um, and you could do it through any different kind of lens it could be drama it could be comedy it could be romance like there's just a, right. just a ton of them out there that, that need to be told it's great. Definitely. Um, so this is a really great book and you got you got the chance to do our social media deep dive on our previous ep episode. Um, so if you didn't see that, you should go over and watch because her pictures were amazing. Um, so we're going to play another game with you called What Would Julia Do? 
Um, just a little okay. game with a couple of quick scenarios that we want your main character, Julia, to react to um, that a typical band geek, geek might relate to. So I think Jonathan is going to start with our first scenario. Yes. So our first scenario is the drum captain at the school just got caught ditching practice for a rock concert. What would Julia do? She would be very understanding. There is a <laughs> scene in the book um, <laughs> yeah. that relates very uh, specifically to Julia's interests. So I actually think she would do whatever it took. And she's she's a loyal, she gets the idea that Drumline is very loyal. Um, so yeah. she would probably do what she could to help that captain. Other people might feel differently, but in this case, she would do anything to help them. Right, that's great. I like that. <laughs> um, so scenario number two is the guard captain managed to twist her ankle moments before the performance and she has the main focus. Whew. Um, I, Julie's a team player. Um, I think, you know, she, I don't know if she'd be the one kind of like over, you know, holding a hand or something like that, but she would be, you know, what do we need to do? She would be jumping in. Are we changing the drill? Are we, um, is she really, really, you know, hurt? Do we, can we, can we modify <laughs> yeah. the performance yeah. in some way? Um, I like her. She is a quick thinker. Um, sometimes it gets her into trouble. Um, often it, it, yeah. it's not, it doesn't always work out how she thinks it's going to work out. So right, where right. she might be quick to react, it might not have the ultimate reaction she wants it to. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> I like that one. That's Great. good. <laughs> so scenario three, the band director tells everyone the season is canceled due to a pandemic. Too soon? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, look, I genuinely like sidebar. I genuinely feel for, especially the senior class, the class of 2021. Yeah. I, I literally cannot imagine if I would have not been able to have my senior year, like yeah. especially on, on the field, like that's just heartbreaking. Um, Julie is the one arranging Zoom practices and you know, she doesn't, <laughs> even though she's so new to the sport or the, the, the activity, the marching arts, that she just would not let it go. And probably mm -hmm. to her, like she, people be like, do we really need to practice? Yes, we need to practice. So even if it was like a 200 person you know, level Zoom, they don't, she would she would have somehow been one of the ones arranging it. <laughs> yeah. Great, oh. love that, how Julia Good is question. so involved. <laughs> yeah, such a relatable topic. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Courtney, congrats on this book. Um, it is so, it was so fantastic. And I hope there are many more versions of this to come. And I think Jonathan would be a great new character, but <laughs> that being said, um, and maybe even a sassy dancer girl who just wants to learn as well. Um, <laughs> But with that being said, um, for our thumbnail and like our cover of our YouTube, we always do three, two, one pose. It can be any pose you want, but we count down from three and you can pick whatever you want. So are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one pose. Good. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> All right, John. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Courtney, again, for coming on to the, uh, just talking with us today. Um, Please, everyone who is, is watching, please subscribe to YouTube at Style Plus Band, and then go check out Confessions of a Teenage Band Geek on Amazon for your e-reader. Or if you like the print, buy the book. It is great. It's great. <laughs> so don't forget to follow us at Instagram at Style Plus underscore Band, and follow Courtney at C Brand. Right. Thank you guys so much. <laughs>